rather welcome back if you're a graduating student. It's uh, wonderful to see you all at this, our first graduation ceremony of 2015. My name's Paul Webley, I'm the director of SIAS, and I've been an academic now for 36 years. I've attended dozens and dozens of degree ceremonies, but they still bring a lump to my throat and tears to my eyes. And it's really a great experience to stand here and see the Logan Hall shimmering with pride. That's over here. <laughs> I've been a parent of a graduating student uh, twice. Last time was in 2007, and I can still remember every detail of each of those graduations. And degree ceremonies really are one of life's defining moments. Although I said I'd, under I'd attended dozens of degree ceremonies, I really didn't understand graduation until I was a parent. Now, whilst I've been to lots of degree ceremonies, I didn't go to my own. And my mother has never forgiven me. So, a huge thanks to this side of the hall, from that side of the hall, for attending. And I'm delighted that we can share this special day with family members and friends of all graduating students across the world who have been unable to make it today. Uh, people do watch this all around the world. Ceremony is being streamed live. Try not to pull any funny faces, because the camera might be on you. That also applies to my colleagues up here on the stage. It's a real privilege, I'll be very brief, to introduce you to the president of SAS, Grasa Michelle and to welcome her back to SOAS for our 2015 graduation ceremonies. Now, as many of you will know, Grasser is an extremely distinguished figure on the world stage. She's been at the heart of national and international politics for decades. She was, for example, the first Minister of Education and Culture of Independent Mozique, and I think, if my memory serves right, that's back in 1975. Her tireless work as an advocate for the rights of women and children and in the fight against poverty, illiteracy and injustice has driven social and political change on a huge scale. She's gained international respect, a huge number of international awards for humanitarian work. She was made a British Dame in 1997. And perhaps most appropriately for SAS, she speaks seven languages, no less. She's a powerful voice She's a person who's looked to for leadership on great questions in Africa and in the world at large. Grasser is absolutely the perfect president for SAS. And we're really fortunate to have as our president someone who embodies our values and who, like our students and staff, wants, as well as understanding the world, to change it. So, Grasser, I invite you to address the panel. 